Hi, this is Brandon. I'm going to show you the best ways to copy verses in Sword Searcher and how to control how they look. Let's say, for example, you're working on a Word document, like I have a, a blank Word document here, or you've got an email or you're on Facebook or whatever, and you want to include the text of a verse. Well, you could do this really easy through Sword Searcher. Most people know that if you mark text like this using the mouse, you click and hold down and drag, you can press Control C and copy it to the clipboard. And then if you go into another Windows application, you can press Control V and it pastes. So these verses are now in the document. And as you can see, the way the verse tag looks and the way the verse looks is the same as it looks on the Sword Searcher screen here. And you don't have to worry when you're marking text in Sword Searcher, the, the margin area will be excluded because you're not going to want to copy that. So that's done automatically. And the verse widgets won't be included either. Well, that's one way to do it. And it's certainly a straightforward way, but there is a faster way and you can skip this step. This is a verse widget. There's a video that describes each verse widget in detail, but I'm going to focus on the one that copies verses to the clipboard. You see I've got one next to each verse here, and if you just click it, the verse is copied to the clipboard. And I'll show you all paste it in now, and there it is. Now you'll notice there's a little difference here. The difference is that the verse tag is formatted a little bit differently. I'm going to show you how you can control that in just a moment. Going back to Sword Searcher, the other thing you can do is hold down the Shift button and click the verse widget. And this allows you to copy a range of verses at once. So let's say I want to copy John 1, 1 through verse 5. I could just select it from the menu here. I'll go back to Word and Paste and you can see the first five verses of John are copied. Now going back to Sword Searcher, if you don't use the verse widgets, some people like to turn these off because they don't want them taking up space, you can also right click and select this option here. This will always be whatever verse that you have right clicked on. So in this case, I could copy John 1.1. 1, 1. Or if you want to select verses like this, notice I am starting kind of inside the verse and ending inside the verse. But if I right click on, on the text that I marked, I can select copy John 1, 1 through 4 because it knows that I've marked in those four verses. So if I do that and then go back to Word, you can see the first four verses are copied and it's the entire content of the verses, not just the partial selections I've made. Now what if you want to control the way the text looks or the way the verses are formatted? Well, you could do that very easily with Sword Searcher. Going back to Sword Searcher, I'm going to clear my selection. On the Edit menu, I'm going to select Configure, Copy, and Export Formatting. First thing you see here is a sample selection of verses and how they will look when they're copied. You can control the basic formatting with these options here, the main style. So, for example, if I click C, you can see that the verse tag has been moved to the end of the text. If I click E, now each verse is on its own line. If I click G, the verse tags look a little bit different. So you can experiment with which ones look the way that you need them to look when you're pasting content into your Word documents or your emails. And H, for example, uses an abbreviation instead of the full book name. Other options include using the version tag. I've disabled it. I've turned it back on. Whether or not the verse tags are bold. For example, there I've turned off bold. Maybe you don't need it to be bold. And whether or not you want the paragraph markers to be included in the text. These are the pill crows, these symbols that indicate a new paragraph. Now that I've made some changes, I'll show you how this looks. Click OK. Let's copy the first two verses of the book of John. I'm going to shift click on the copy verse widget. Copy John 1, 1 to verse 2. Go back to Word 
and let's see how this looks now. Pressing Control-V again. Now you can see the choices I've made are now reflected in the style of the text that I've pasted in, uh, in particular the way that the verse tag looks. Now what, if, what about the font? Well, as you can see in this document, I'm using uh, Times New Roman as my standard text font. Anything I type shows up in Times New Roman. And since I'm pasting it in, Microsoft Word is using the same font for the pasted verse text. Well, what if you have a different font that you want to use for your verse text? You could do that too. Going back to Sword Searcher, configure copy export formatting again off the edit menu. Now this option controls what font is used for the pasted text. I've chosen CGO UI at 11 points. But the default option says let the paste application choose the font. That means that for most applications like Word, that application will decide what font is used when you paste. What you can try is use my font on the clipboard. This makes Sword Searcher try to force the other program to use the font you've selected. So I'll make this change and click OK. And let's try this copy again. I'm going to shift click and go to John 1, 1 through verse 2. I'm going back to Microsoft Word and let's see how this looks now. Now you can see that the font that I chose, Sego UI, see here is Sego UI at 11 points, is now the font that's used for verse text. I'm going to clear this out of the way. Now what if you're typing text along like that and you know what verse you want to copy in? Well, you could go back to Sword Searcher, find it, and copy it with the methods I've shown you, but there is a shortcut. In Sword Searcher, you can use a feature called Verse Auto Paste. Basically, this just lets you skip some steps. Anytime Sword Searcher is open and you're in another application that accepts text input, you can press Control Alt V all at the same time, these three keys at the same time. What happens is Sword Searcher comes to the front and asks me what verses I want to copy. I'm going to try Genesis 1, 1 through 5. Now I'm going to hit enter. Word comes back and the verses that I selected are pasted in for me automatically. And if I go back to Sword Searcher here, you can see I didn't have to move the Bible panel or anything else or select anything off the menus to do that. So that can save you time. Now there's one more thing I want to show you. These links over here, as you know, if you hold your mouse pointer over them, give you a preview of the text of those verses. So what if you know that you want to copy these verses into a document? Well, you could click the link and you could copy over here just like I showed you, but there's also a shortcut for that. Just right click the link with your mouse and select this option here, copy verses from this link. I'll select it. I'm going to go back to Word again and I'll paste those in. And as you can see, my options that I've chosen for how the verses look also apply to this pasted text again here. So I hope you find this useful and thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the website for other useful tips in using Sword Searcher.